Hey people, Fernando doing another video for the channel and before I go on, yes, we're gonna be talking about the Drake Cutter I'll give you some of my insight, but before this, remember if you like the channel so far Last video was super positive, lots of you folks, you know, watching it Subscribe to the channel, it really does help, give it a thumbs up, share All of that is a huge way of encouraging me doing more videos So if you like that, by all means, much appreciated and thank you for supporting the channel. Also, if you're looking at playing Star Citizen, remember, you have the referral link below. Tonight starts the International Space Expo. It means that you can play the game uh, for free. It's gonna be a free fly week. So you can play the, the game for free, use all of the ships that are in the expo. You can rent them for free as well. Pretty much fly anything. But even if you just sign up to play for free, use the referral code because if you end up liking what you see and you end up buying the game before the expiration of the you know of the referral during the fly free fly week, you probably get free uh, armor or maybe a weapon. There's been times in which they give you even a free ship. You know, like a tiny ship of some sort. So there's always something in exchange for that uh, the use of that referral uh, during that that week. So let's say you end up liking the game. Right, and you say, okay, I'll actually buy it. You buy, don't spend a lot of money. Buy yourself your Aurora MR, or maybe the the the, the cutter that you see here, if it's priced reasonably. More more on that later. But don't spend more money than that. You get your ship with your game package, and you start playing. But using the referral code, you will get some extra bonus plus extra five thousand uh, credits of in-game money, which is always nice to have. So let's get to the video. Look, uh, I like what I see. I like Drake. They do, you know, nice, uh, cool-looking ships. I like this thing. Kind of looks like the Mandalorian's uh, Razor Crest ship. It has somewhat of that VTOL boxy, you know, look to it. You know, it's not exactly. Maybe that's my wishful thinking. I would have loved to see something like that. They probably will do a Razor Crest of some sort eventually. They're maybe working on it right now. Uh, but um, yeah, it does have that kind of of feel. Now, good things and bad things about the Drake Cutter based on what we can see as of right now. More information will be available when we actually get to fly it and test it, but as of right now, positives. I like the way it looks. I think it looks very cool. Uh, Drake has this Star Wars, you know, functional, you know, aesthetic, you know, with, with a kind of utilitarian aspect to it. Yeah, that that does it for me. I like that very much. Um, you probably have a, a, la a last gen um, Access to all, all of the nice buttons and things that you you have in some of the newer ships It seems to have nice visibility by the way, you're know, talking a little bit about everything So good visibility is what you see here uh, And there we see the problem that I at least find which is guns It is a ship that based on what I see now and more on this later But so far it only has two guns that is a huge huge problem in a starter ship these guys are saying that yeah it's a starter ship to offer everything to try everything the verse has to offer well the verse hasn't got all that much to offer one of the few things it has to offer is what you're seeing right now this is the main game loop in star citizen which is combat pve pvp you want to have a starter ship that is somewhat okay with combat it's not going to be the best ship for combat it is a starter ship after all but here's where the Star Citizen bullshit starts to you know, surface, right? When these guys talk about, yes, it's a, a ship that takes you from point A to point B. You know what? All ships take you from point A to point B. So that is bullshit. Now, it's you know, a ship for trying everything that the verse has to offer. Okay, I'm listening. Does it really do that? Because with two guns, you're kind of screwing me here. You're giving me a ship that compared to the Aurora, which is the most common starter ship, compared to the Mustang, which is a, you know, another classic starter ship that has the crippling problem of having no interior space and having no bed, which a lot of noobs immediately regret right the moment they buy it and they find themselves forced to upgrade to something better, which is probably one of the marketing strategies that they're using with the Mustang and why it's still even offered as a starter ship, which is, which is probably not even that, because it cannot do, as they say, some of the more important game loops the game has to offer, which is, yeah, getting gear and having inventory and looting stuff. So other than that, this ship does look fantastic. Seems to be having a VTOL engines, which is cool. It has the, uh, it seems to have two size one shields, which I would uh, certainly uh, appreciate. Having just one size one would be, you know, insane. But the problem with this is the is this having just 50% of the firepower that you get from our ships 
That is a big problem. Even in a starter ship, you want a starter ship that can fight. And the, the, the excuse of, oh, well, well, it's not a fighter. Well, there's not there's many ships that are not fighters and still have lots of guns. The Aurora, the, the, the freighter version has four guns. The Explorer version of the Aurora and the Mustang also have four guns. Yeah, even the damn Pisces, which, which is a little dropship, even that one has four guns. And I, <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if you can find you know, numerous other ships that are not for combat that have much better um, firepower, but even within the, the starter uh, range of ships, most of the starter ships will have four guns um, for you to, to do. Look, if this is just a matter of I have two guns and it has a hard points for a couple two more, that would be fantastic. That would show you know a, a level of, of, yeah, that is smart. That would be the, the smart thing to do would be give the guy two guns and then two empty hard points for the new player to, you know, dip the toes a little bit on the customization aspect of the game, which is, you know, I think it's a good idea. That would make sense. That would actually be clever. And it would be, if, if this ship has two empty hard points for me to put a couple more guns, giving that it's Drake that I would expect nothing else, uh, yeah, I'm all for it. Um, now, if it's just limited to 50% of the firepower than the Aurora, dude, get yourself the Aurora. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense to get yourself a crippled starter ship when the main game loop is, is combat in Star Citizen. Now, then, of course, you have that big you know, trunk there in the back, which is what some people are you know, having high hopes for. I don't know. Yeah, I, I like it. Uh, they, they were saying that it's like a small Cutlass Black? No, it's not. It's more like a big Pisces than a small Cutty Black. The, the Cutty Black would definitely involve more firepower than that. Uh, and here you see a rock. Now, is this kind of like an internal joke? It seems that the rock does not fit. I would be surprised if the rock fit. Now, if the rock does fit, I change my position and will say, yeah, even with just two guns, uh, yeah, you, can, you allow me to carry a rock in this thing. So yeah, it would be a, a, a reasonable starter ship in the starter ship price range. Uh, SCU is just four, which is nothing. It's not worth even doing one cargo run as of right now. In Star Citizen, they love talking about what will happen in the future, as in five or ten years from now. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That, that's, that's, uh, that's marketing. That's pointless for any real player to talk about things that are not even in production or even considered being done as of right now. Just fantasy makeup thing like playing Dungeons of Dragons in a piece of paper. You're looking at that kind of, of game, you know, quote unquote. Uh, but uh, if it fits a rock, then maybe, yeah, it could be. Now, final thought is price. That's going to be another aspect. If this ship is priced like like a Hoover bike if it's cheaper than an uh, if this thing is cheaper than an Aurora okay two guns I would probably give it some thought as limiting myself in such a way but I have an, a pretty looking ship yeah uh, now if it's the same price as the Aurora which has four guns two size one shields it has a bed just like the 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 um, uh, cutter has a bed here. That's a big aspect. The bed is an important aspect of any sort of ship. So you don't want a sort of ship that has no bed, and you have it here. So uh, if it's a uh, price cheaper than the Aurora, yeah. But if it's more, if it's on the same price or more expensive, uh, I don't see the practical aspect of going with this ship at all. You know, even if it does carry a rock, which a uh, rock is kind of stupid anyway because it's one of the worst uh, wastes of time in terms of mining. I mean, I've mined hundreds of millions of, of credits in the game with a prospector. I don't even bother with a rock. It's kind of, you know, wasting your time. But that's the, the thing. It's going to be about exactly how many hard points you have in this thing. It's going to be about the price. It's going to be about if it actually fits the rock, which I'm betting it does not. They don't have, wouldn't make much sense to have this ship fit a rock. This size, yeah, uh, this side lovely, shield lovely, yeah, that it goes down. out on the side. Yeah, I don't even know the point of this kind of thing. Why does it even bother with it? What does it do? Like improve your your shields? I mean, it's cool. I won't say it's not. Now, in terms of what you fit in there in the back, you probably fit a Stevie or one of these little golf carts from Grey Cat. But yeah, and it's kind of fun, but it's also kind of pointless because uh, you don't even use vehicles much in the game. There's nothing for you to do with a vehicle here. So that's my take on it. Let's see how many guns you can actually fit in this thing. Let's see the pricing. And yeah, it does look cool. It seems like a pretty reasonable um, starter ship is, 
if priced accordingly or if it actually has four guns like pretty much all other starships have. See you in our next video, guys. Take care.